This is Cameron Jerome. Now Fleb, this is a real chance for him maybe to pose some problems for Sheffield Wednesday. Bowie is calling for it and gets it. Jerome, Martins in the middle, so is Beausajour! Simple, simple goal! First goal for Birmingham City for Jean Beausajour. And they don't come much easier than that. Well, we mentioned about Haleb possibly providing that threat along the left-hand side. He did cut, cut inside, played a great ball to Boya, who in turn found a lovely little reverse pass to Beausajour. And you don't really miss from there. It was a great finish. You know, left the keeper with not, not a great deal of, of chance there. There's over 4,000 Sheffield Wednesday fans in this crowd, as you can see, not sold out, but Sheffield Wednesday's allocation was. In fact, they asked for 3,000 more tickets, but Birmingham refused them. Morrison, lovely back heel. Mella! What an opportunity for an equaliser. Credit Doyle, I think he got a decisive touch here to deny a goal. It was lovely play, great back heel from Morrison. And it was a timely, timely challenge from Roger Johnson, I think it was, just in the nick of time. Birmingham City have a chance to maybe double their advantage. Keith Fay over this free kick for them. Scored recently for Ireland. Fahey punched away, Murphy's headed back. Beausajour's in there. Sheffield Wednesday escape. Nicky Weaver. We see here from the curling free kick, possibly could have tipped it over the bar, he's actually punched it into a, into a danger area there, but by the look of it there, I mean, the referee and linesman have both missed what looked like a clear handball there. The arm's clearly gone up in the air. Martins, perseverance, lovely overlapping from Murphy. Another goal's not far away, and it almost comes from Jerome. Beausajour! Again, the threat from the left-hand side. Fantastic whip ball in there from Dave Murphy. Did it come off a hand there? I don't know. Jerome just didn't get on the end of it. And it's a great save from Nicky Weaver, just knocking the ball past, past the post. Didn't quite connect with it, Beausajour. Would have liked to have struck it better than that. Cleb. Martins gets there over Femi Martins. 2-0. That's the first time Birmingham City fans have seen that celebration. And they now have one foot inside the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Well, we spoke about the threat of Martins and Jerome, what threat they might pose to this Sheffield Wednesday team. Great little run inside there. Done the defender through his legs, little nutmeg. I didn't think there was any other finish on the cards there. Always, always going to be a goal from that situation. Martins is, is, is a quality player, magnificent, couple of touches, slots, slots it straight past the keeper. Well, the goal was superbly taken, the acrobats was uh, oh, a little bit more sparkly, wasn't it? Deflected off Fahey's hand, I think, but... Uh, from a few appeals from Sheffield Wednesday fans, that was it, and the break is on. It's David Bentley for three. Well, that would have probably killed the game right at the end of this first half, but Bentley spurns the opportunity. The break so well, don't they, Birmingham City, when they get in them opportunity. Lovely little step over there from David Bentley. You expected to see the net ripple, but he's just dragged it wide. Weaver hasn't got it, and it's turned in. David Murphy. Well, Nicky Weaver looks on, and surely that's the end of any hope that Sheffield Wednesday had. Well, all eyes on the referee, isn't it? Sheffield Wednesday players stood about. They thought, as Nicky Weaver did, that he thought he'd been fouled. We see the corner come in now. Was it knocked out of his hands? I mean, Bowyer's... Really, when you, when you, in most situations like that, the goalkeeper is protected. Good finish there from, from Dave Murphy. He's not stopped, he's got in there. But for me, that's a foul. Here's Bentley. Could be more trouble here for Sheffield Wednesday. Still has it, Bentley. 
How has Martins missed that? <laughs> they can smile about it at 3 now, of course. Well, he'd be bitterly disappointed he's not scored his second of the game here. David Bentley does great, turns the defender inside out, suspicion of a handball from him, but he's just not been able to sort his feet out in time. It's difficult when the ball comes to you like that and you've got to try and, you know, sort them out, but really a player of his calibre and quality. We can see David Bentley. I think he obviously knows where the ball should have gone. Jones will cut inside on his left here. Left by uh, Beavers. Till three minutes are up. It nearly came. They were desperately close. But that is the final chance of the game. And it fell to Clinton Morrison.